allow your mind to get out of the simulation and back into your body. Head toward it. Got it. Fill me in, Kinsey. What do we know about the Zen invasion? The good news is they didn't get everybody. Just a whole bunch of people. According to what I've been able to decipher, the simulation is designed to house the best and the brightest specimens from various worlds. The best and brightest from an entire planet? How big is this thing? Big. But they haven't gotten to all of Earth yet. Just the major cities. Last I heard, Oleg was up at Camp David. That area doesn't look like it's been hit yet. Okay, so we got people left on Earth. Good to know. Once you're free from the simulation, I can sever your connection to the Zen Matrix. This will allow me to retrieve your body here in the real world without you suffering permanent brain damage. Where, where am I in the real world? Like, what are they doing to my body? It's in a safe place. Once you're free, I'll pick you up at the landing platform. I don't like how she said that. But anyway, let's get yeah! these data clusters and get to this door. For some reason, this game makes me want to play Spider-Man again. Because, like, how I can just go off of buildings. I'm out of stamina. Darn it. But you see, like that, how you, uh, go off of buildings and you can just, uh, move around with a lot of agility and whatnot. It just makes me think of Spider-Man for some reason. Kenzie, doors locked. Wrong door. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, nicely done. Well, that didn't go terrible. Can you quit being a baby and just walk in? Look, lady, we're doing this in my time. No, you're not. <laughs> oh my. We've left the Matrix. That's what this is. This is basically the Matrix. Well then. Oh lovely. They censor it for me. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, where the hell? Oh, I feel like a toilet at a bus stop. Okay, I'm assuming that's bad. Steps through it. Uh, I need to get to that platform. <coughs> Enough throw up, please. Where? <laughs> Kinsey. Give me that. Ooh. Well then. That was a lot that transpired in those few seconds. I don't want to crouch. Oh, what the fuck is this place? Just say Johnny Toppy. This is human. 
Kinsey, where the hell are you? Kinsey, hit the wrong. Oh fuck. No oh, darn. <laughs> Tell Zinyak I'm coming for it. Um, given that we're surrounded, I don't think it would be best to threaten them. Don't worry, I'll be there. Blah blah. Fuck. Kill enough of you. I'll just build a ladder back to Earth. Yeah. Come at me. I'll kill every last one of you. <clears throat> so, Son, can they no. hear me? No. Well, hello. I see you're attempting a noble escape. Understandable given your situation, but I urge you to turn back. I urge you to shut up. Out of here. Gee, Kinsey, thanks for saving my life. Why, thanks, boss. I love being appreciated. Boss, I'm the president now. When did you turn into such a jerk? Surprise, Kinsey. I've always been an asshole. Thank you. I mean it. You're not wearing pants. This just got weird. A little bit. Can I fly now? Knock yourself out. <laughs> Can I fly now? You oh. saved Keith David before me. I, uh, passed by him on the way out. Well, how did you get out? Uh, let's just focus on flying, shall we? Here uh, I am. Like this Nancy thing have a radio? Out. Radio signals bounce around space for... Oh, yeah! This is my jam! Stop running into me. Okay. Spinning wheel. 
seals of death. Confound it. I hate allergies. I hate them. Do a barrel roll. Spin this ship, damn it. Um, no. Oh, I have to. <laughs> Oh darn. They're closing us in! Stay on target! Ah. No, 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 no. We've made it! We made it! We made it! We made it. Ah. Well, that was fun. <laughs> we're not really leaving the others, are we? Hell no. But if we're taking the fight to Zinyak, we'll need all the help we can get. Kinsey, can you get in touch with Oleg? Yeah, we should be in range. If this is real life, then it's not I fun at all. I always thought Nightblade was just a vampire show. <laughs> oh no, my friend. It is the essence of drama. Hey, you need to take that? You know anyone with the 217 area code? Is that St. Louis? Mm, probably tell Margaret. Oof. Ignore. Uh, Voicemail? You want me to leave a message? Uh, oh no. It's all gone. Well, I'd say this was a productive day. You're a fucking monster. Oh, don't act surprised. I told you this would happen. You killed seven billion people. Whoops. We're done talking. He's not getting away with this. You're goddamn right he's not. Kinsey, can you use this thing to place me back in the simulation? Yeah, I think I should be able to... Do it. Wait, you want to go back in there? Do it. You can't kill Zinya plugged into a computer. I can kill a lot of people with a computer. You? Sure. Yeah. You need help setting the DVR. If taking over a small part of the simulation <laughs> sure. you to me... You need help setting up a DVR. Thing has to do something good. You don't even know what will happen. She probably does. The president is right. Whenever the simulation is disrupted, I have a small window to work my way inside the Zen security network. The more it's disrupted, the more time I'll have to map out Zinyak's mothership. I can identify structural weakness, locate where they're keeping our friends... And find Zinyak. Yeah. All right, let's do this. When historians look back on the fall of the Zin Empire, this will be the defining moment. An act that was supposed to demoralize, galvanized. And a course was set that the Saints could never back down from. But even more monumental is this. If the Earth was not destroyed, pragmatism would have won over desperation, and the Saints would never have been reunited with the most dangerous man in all of history, Johnny Gat. Wait, what? But ever as always, I'm getting ahead of myself. Like all good stories, the second act begins with a call to action and the building of a robot. Think he can... Okay, so... Uh... The thing you can do in this game is apparently, yes I know, you can hack stores. And I think that lets you get money from them or something. But uh, when I got out of the sim, when, when I got back in the simulation it said I have the DLC weapons. So let's see. <laughs> oh, knife thrower, nice. Okay. Sniper. Okay. A plunger gun. <laughs> A magnet. Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of alien weapons. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that one, but I'm probably going to use that one. <sighs> okay. Let's get knife thrower. Because I'm going to see what all these weapons do. I'm going to use this one. Okay. 
We're gonna use all the alien tech that we got. Alright. What am I doing? Okay, let's go test these things out. First up, oh my, this thing is huge. Oh, it literally throws knives. Okay. Plunger. It shoots a plunger. <laughs> I plunged him in the face. <laughs> okay. This. Yep, I did that. Okay then. Um, magnet. Where'd they go? <laughs> okay, this thing. Oh, yes! And this is just a pistol. Okay, now to see what this does. Bye! <laughs> oh, wow. Did I hit somebody back there? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay. No more of your shit. Bye. <laughs> okay then. Well, I think I'm gonna end this one here, so thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you liked it, you know what to do. Keep things crazy. And I'll see you guys.